Hi guys, so thank you for coming to my channel. This is my first ever video. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much. You took five seconds out of your day to press this video and here we are. So let's get into it. I went through a phase a couple weeks ago that made me feel like I need to do something different with my life, like and be more productive. So I was like, I'm on YouTube for about eight to 10 hours a day. And I'm like, why do I keep watching people's lives go by and not doing anything with mine? Basically, that's not how everyone feels about it. But you know, this whole quarantine pandemic thing is really got me like on edge. So I was just thinking like, what can I do to lift my spirits and also do something productive? So I started this YouTube video. It's Saturday. Is it Saturday? It's Sunday and I finally took the time out to do some editing. I finally made a thumbnail. Like all of that stuff matters when you want to start your own channel. So I wrote down some things that I find that are really important to make sure you have. A planner is one because there's a lot of tips, tricks, things like you don't even think about that you might want to remember down the line. You're not going to be able to keep up with all the advice people give you. So it's better to jot it down. Honestly, my boyfriend told me write out whatever you're feeling whatever you're planning whatever you're thinking anything that you have in your mind put it on paper when you put it on paper it starts to feel more real it starts to feel like you're actually putting forth the effort and something that I was always taught is seeing is believing so after I wrote down I'm gonna start a YouTube video I said that I wanted to start one and put it out next Wednesday but come to find out I have a dentist appointment because my tooth is killing me y'all I have a dentist appointment on Tuesday so I wasn't able to get to it also first First thing that I looked into was like basically preparing my channel so you have to start a channel for one you go to YouTube they have a little scroll down thing and you say create a channel it also says customize your channel making sure that you have a banner something that pops something that catches people's eye um, my thumbnail also like the little square thing you see with my beautiful face on it that took a lot of time can but was the website I used, but it's very detailed. I use so many different graphics. I use so many different textures. I can't tell you all the types of shapes and sizes and fonts I use, but I can definitely make a video down the line once I get better at this to show you how to actually make a template. Um, let me think. So another thing that is important is going to be your title. If you have a grasp being title which basically will help people reel in subscribers <laughs> so the minute that you go and when you first log on to YouTube they're gonna show you a whole different arrangement of videos you could have something from you know doing your nails straightening your hair curling your hair to challenges to vlogs to anything it's all about an algorithm an algorithm is basically an analogy that YouTube puts together to make sure that the content that you're fed on your channel is connected with you so what that means is they're making sure that whatever they're giving to you is something that you're interested in so that you stay on YouTube and that you continue to go to other people's channels also so my title for this YouTube video was grow your YouTube channel 2020 it's something very simple and up-to-date because I added the year but that makes a perfect title that's actually trending right now because people don't have anything else to do with their lives no offense I'm one of those people also so I said that you need to have personality. If you're just sitting there and you're like this and you're kind of like looking all around and you're not really engaging with your audience, then that's definitely going to spark some disinterest and that's not what we're looking for. We went all eyes on deck. It's all hands, but I said all eyes. You wanna make sure that you bring your personality out in everything you do, everything you say. Like, I have a speech impediment. I know y'all see this little turtle lip when I make my little S's, and that's something that I really had to push through because I told myself, like, <gasps> that can't be the reason why I'm not making content like there is upside down pear shaped bitches out here making content getting millions of followers there's twigs out here getting millions of followers it doesn't matter be yourself 
and you'll have more of an advantage to expand and you know more people will be likely to click on your channel next thing I said that you need to have is creativity my thumbnail my channel art my actual look and my video did not come easily right now I'm shooting on my iPhone I do have a DSLR camera but it's just taking a lot of time to upload to my MacBook so I was like fine it's just as high def so why not also like I figured that I need to add a little bit more to my videos so that's why I like animations so I don't mind doing the little music in the background your aesthetic also brings people to your page so if you just have nothing on your thumbnail nothing to bring in attention nothing in your title that's grasping then you're really just not gonna find interest <laughs> I know that I click on colorful vibrant smiling happy faces usually somebody that has a catchy title and somebody that also has like relative content like something that I can feed into something that I know I can come back to and look forward to the next time because they're always gonna bring me good content last but not least consistency consistency is so important when it comes to your YouTube channel because you can fall off like that I noticed that I have a friend who basically started her YouTube channel and after you gain a couple subscribers her videos don't have the highest but she did eventually hit a viral video that ended up getting like 270,000 views which is also something that to some people is like mm, not really like a milestone but to me I was like damn like you blew up like you did it girl but the thing is like I haven't seen her really make that much content since so she stuck at a steady you know 10,000 subscribers and in my head I was just like I even look forward to her stuff and I know her as my closest dearest friend but unfortunately like if you don't continue to make content you will fall off so I noticed that people who have low subscribers usually triple and double and quadruple if they end up adding more content on a weekly basis and they're consistent with their subscribers so adding things like hey guys guess whoever's the first person to comment on this video will get a shout out on my next one boom so you know that you have one fan that's looking forward to your content for next week or you can say you could do a video at the end that says like check out my other videos you know you could do a little preview a sneak view to what you're gonna bring the next week because people are always wanting to keep like drawn in you want to make sure that you have the tools to make sure that your audience is interested if you don't have interest you don't have a channel I mean some people might use this as their diary you know just to vent just to vlog all day just to talk about their issues or talk about their struggles or talk about you know turning up in the club it doesn't matter but you just have to have consistency I don't care what you do keep pushing out content keep making sure you're on top of your thumbnails make sure you have your titles make sure you have those animations push yourself past those limits the last thing the most important thing I think is really becoming of your channel is your self motivation no one motivates you harder than yourself I know that there is going to be subscribers who are looking forward to me the next week but if I don't feel it in myself if I don't believe in myself then I'm not gonna want to do it I'm not going to find interest I'm not gonna find the passion in it because I see I'm going through a mental struggle or I'm going through something personally and I can't come to grips with you know coming to a, a worldwide internet sensation social media world but also there are times where you're going to have to you know kind of suck it up you can even talk about your struggles with YouTube people like to vent about that people will listen to you if you talk people will listen and one thing I know that I do have is a loud mouth I have a big mouth I, I mean I've been told it all my life why are you so loud and I really don't know why I am but I clearly feel like it's for a reason so here I am I do feel like in the future I'm going to need to boost my enthusiasm I also want to get on my DSLR I really don't even want to use that thing my goal is to get a G7X power shot by Canon mirrorless camera because that's gonna be the one I use for my vlogging also it's very compact my DSLR is huge Ooh, huge and it's just too much to carry around at a time it's just really heavy and also it's expensive so compared to like what that costs my mirrorless I mean like they're both expensive but I think that I might want to bite the bullet on that one it is just a little bit more of an investment it is a $500 camera and I've been regretting you know wondering if I should just go and offer up our marketplace but then my boyfriend was like why would you want second why would you basically start a job wearing another person's uniform 
and I felt that on so many levels start fresh start new I just bought a tripod it's been sent to my best friend's house I don't know why it went there I got it from Amazon it's like 50 inches I can add it in the description below if anyone is interested I don't even know how far I'm gonna get with this I'm just mostly rambling at this point but I do know for a fact that I do want to give you guys the best of me there's gonna be lifestyle there's gonna be hacks maybe there's gonna be tips and tricks on how you can build your channel how we can grow together how we can uplift each other that's why I put in the beginning small youtubers unite that's all we got is each other so for anybody who stuck around this long thank you so much I appreciate all your patience because I feel like I'm just rambling and I'm just looking at myself in the camera and I'm just like god like what am I doing but it's all gonna make sense hard work pays off this is just the beginning thank you guys so much once again please hit the subscribe button down below don't mind my nails it is quarantine season so it's reflecting that but you know I gotta keep my edges on fleek <laughs> but yeah thank you guys I will get back to you later on in the week so I think that one of my videos that I was gonna make next week was going to be more focused on a vlog it's Faye's birthday and I have a lot of like surprises we're gonna have like a big party at his house so I think I might do some vlogging not for of the actual party but you know of the setup and maybe like a couple clips so just let me know if you're interested in seeing that or I can do another how-to and it's gonna be a how-to of get your watch hours up how to make sure that people come back and want to to watch you but you're gonna have to give me this or that let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to get back with you guys later thank you well I'm just a little bored like I don't know what to do with myself I'm just like do I watch basketball lives do I figure out what I'm gonna vlog for the day I don't know what I'm gonna do but I do know that I want to be on recording every day I want to be able to talk to you guys every day like I'm, I'm tuned in I'm doing this like there's no going back this is the new normal for me so I want to be able to express myself and be able to talk to you guys don't mind my headband because we're still in quarantine and we ain't going nowhere so I have no reason to show you all my edges <laughs>